Hello everyone, welcome to Python learning series for network engineers. This is the fourth video on PyATS. In this video, we will see how to add PyATS virtual environment into PyCharm and execute script from PyCharm itself. In the previous video, we have seen how to write a Python script from interpreter for initiating SSH to Cisco device and parse the show configuration using PyATS. So here we will try to add this into PyCharm. So to add this into PyCharm, we have a directory here. It is PyATS space where I have kept all the PyATS files. So to add that, I'll go to file, open, and I'll select this directory. Click OK and click on attach. So now pi ATS got added here. Now I need to go to the file settings and under projects, click on Python interpreter. I'll click on pi ATS space and I'll add the existing interpreter. I'll click on existing and earlier I have installed this in same directory so I'll select python 3.10 click on ok so now here you can see this has loaded my pi ATS virtual environment I'll apply and click OK. So now I'll create a folder here. I will call that my Python scripts. And inside that, I'll create a Python file. So we'll try to recreate the same Python script which we have written earlier. Now we don't need that line. So because our Python environment is different now. So we'll go to the documentation. So first we need to import the genie testbed load. I'll copy that line. Then we need to load the testbed file. And in our case, this is going to be inside YAML file, YAML directory. So it is one directory down YAML and file name is my testbed YAML. And this is my testbed file, which is having 63 and 61 added. So we have written this in the previous video. I'll be adding that video also in the description and notification. Now we can try running this to verify there is any error. So this works fine. That means virtual environment also got added successfully. So next we need to define the device. So I will call this testbed dot devices and I will use CSR 17.3 and after that I need to connect to the device device dot connect. We can verify that here. 
so device equal to testbed dot devices and device dot connect we'll try running this so we are able to successfully connect to the device and if you notice here the host name and this particular device should be same so that it will work here for example if I change the host name I have console to the device I will change the host name to something else we will try running this so it is waiting for the device prompt you can see here there is one error if you want to handle this error imagine your device host name is different from what you have added in your inventory file or testbed file that time there is a connection property which you can change you can go to connection basics and here we have an option learn host name if you search about that we'll scroll down yeah so if you give learn host name true this will try to learn the host name so we'll try giving that inside connection we need to give and now if we try running this So this will get connected to the device successfully and then if you want to skip printing all these terminal outputs what you can do is for that also we have a connection property here it is called log std out And that also if you change this to false this will not print the terminal output and let us try writing for the script now after connect we will try printing all the available device configuration options from pprint import pprint and we will try printing all the APIs available in device that means configuration options let me try running And you can see here now it is not printing the terminal output and if I give DIR and this time I will remove this line so this time it is printing even the terminal output and these are the APIs, the default APIs available. So all these options you can configure directly from PyATS.
so either you can configure or get the output using all these methods now we'll try writing some of the parser logic so first the same logic we'll write show version parsed equal to dev dot parse and we'll give show version and we'll try printing show version parsed So here we can see now the parsed output and if you want some specific output I'll comment this and I'll print show version parsed version so we'll take this version and it's e version. Now we'll try running this. So we can see we are getting a specific output. I'll comment this even print API details. Now we'll write one more parser here. Show IP interface brief. dev dot parse and will give show IP show IP interface brief and we'll try printing that So this is our show IP interface brief output here you can see interface inside interface key we have all the interface details. So we will try to iterate through all this interface and we will try getting interface name and its IP. You can take any data out of it. I am just showing one simple logic. So here I will create a variable. IP interface briefs and the key is interface the primary key is interface and then we will try to iterate through each element in that dictionary so for int in interface passed and we'll try printing interface so here now we are getting all the interface names so th those are the keys and if you try to print this output We should be able to see that. So we can see here now interface names are the key and inside that we have each interface properties. So for gigabit 2 that is the name, interface name is a key. Now if we want to get interface name and its IP what we can do is we will create a formatted string here.
and this one we will call name after that we'll give ip and so that will be interface passed that dictionaries interface ip so i'll put this as a variable then interface passed and inside that we will have the interface name and that one ip address now we'll try running this so here there is a syntax error i'll remove additional ip now we can see here we are getting interface name and ip address same way if you want to get the status so only thing what we need to change here is this particular key status so in this way you can parse any data and earlier even i have demonstrated how to parse ip address how to convert this into a valid ip address object and based on that you can validate this ip against a specific subnet and identify whether that is overlapping with another subnet we'll try running this so now we are getting event status this is a very simple parsing logic i hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to add py ats environment into pycharm then write python script and run it from pycharm itself thanks for watching see you in the next video